We love our pets, but sometimes we don't always know what to do when they get sick. Today, the vet is here to talk about a common diagnosis called kennel cough and what to do if you believe your dog has it. So, Dr. Christian Broadhurst joins us from the Clay Humane Society. Good morning to Good morning. you. Good morning. And you brought today? your friend down here, too. Yes, this right? is Gunner. Gunner, hey, Gunner is here to join us today. And Gunner's got a boo-boo. Gunner has got a broken leg. That He is actually both broken legs. His shoulder blade on the left side is broken. His foreleg on the right, uh, sure, just maul that thing. Go ahead. We just put a new one on. It's great. <laughs> um, but he is slowly but surely healing, um, and one of my technicians is going to be adopting him because uh, she has fallen madly in love with him. So. He's a nice dog, and we I believe, know. or you believe, that he was hit by a car, although yes, you're not 100 absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. We, we expect that he was hit by a car. Like I said, that's kind of our most common offender when dogs come in with multiple limb trauma. So, but... Uh, yeah, there, there you go. Boy, you're making a mess of that thing. It's <laughs> okay, okay, keep chewing. So our little buddy here, he does not have kennel cough, and you're trying to make not. sure that he doesn't get it, right? Absolutely. Kennel what cough, is kennel cough? Kennel cough is basically upper respiratory infection contagious among dogs. Um, it's composed of a lot of different things, some bacteria, some viruses. He likes your shoes, too. Yes, um, real leather. <laughs> <laughs> but the combination generally sets up what's very similar in children to, you know, the cough at daycare. Okay. So it's highly transmissible, highly contagious, very mild generally, but it is certainly preventable. Okay, so how do we prevent it? We prevent it with a vaccine. Um, the Bordetella vaccine, the Bordetella bronchiseptica is the bacteria part of kennel cough. That's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. Yeah. That's <laughs> what we could call it Bordetella or kennel cough because it's kennel much cough, easier that way. Go. Kennel cough. But if you know your dog is going to be going into an environment where there's going to be exposure to lots of other animals like a boarding kennel or they're going to be going on vacation, they're going to a dog park, you probably want to have your dog protected against this because it's transmitted when dogs go nose to nose with each other. An infected dog and a not infected dog mm -hmm. uh, sniffing each other's noses, spreading the bacteria and viruses. And then we get kennel cough. And it is characterized by a very deep, hacking, dry cough that often ends up with a little hacky phlegm at the end. It's really nasty. Almost sounds like the croup. Yes, very much so. Okay, and how serious can it be? I mean, normally does it just go away or? And generally is, it's annoying. It's very easy to treat with antibiotics generally, but in immunosuppressed animals or the very old or the very young, it can become life-threatening. Okay, so not a bad idea to see somebody like you, a vet. Absolutely. If you know that you're going to be taking your dog to a boarding kennel or you get groomed on a regular basis, Absolutely, just come in, stay on top of your boosters, and we'll make sure that Bordetella does not become um, a problem in your home. Should you also maybe do a little research on the kennel, make sure that they're clean, look at the ratings, look at the reviews? Yes and no. It's always a good idea to do research before you go somewhere, but a perfectly clean place that has immaculate reviews can have a dog come in the kennel cough and spread it no matter how much cleaning they do. It's very, very contagious. Okay, Dr. Christian Broadhurst, appreciate you. Not Thanks, a problem. Connor. We will see you and we will be back right after this short break.